Hey everybody, this is John from JohnLoomer.com and today I'm going to talk about how it is you can create a textured background for your blog or website with Photoshop. I just uh, re picked a new theme three days ago and in the process had to do some design things. I'm not a designer by trade, but I like to consider myself danger not dangerous enough to solve some basic problems and this is one of them. Um, you can otherwise spend money on backgrounds and it's really not necessary. You have Photoshop uh, or some other photo editing program. So this is my, my site. It's again very new, but I've got a, a background that's used up here at the top. Here's another one that I'll, I can show you how to make. Um, so just go into Photoshop, create a new file. Now the size of it will depend on what you're creating. I mean, for mine, I want to create something that wasn't uniform. Because if, if you want to create something that is repeating, it covers a large area, um, it can be uniform. But if, if it's not uniform, you want to make sure that it's not obvious. Uh, you, don't, you, you can't use the repeating, otherwise it'll be obvious that it's repeating and it looks ridiculous. So I'm using a very large area, 1400 by 500, so it covers everything wherever I'm using it, and 300 resolution. I use white and gray, white foreground, uh, gray background 444444 and uh, but feel free to experiment go up to filters tick, and uh, what you see here is really going to depend on the colors and whatnot you're using so a lot of this isn't going to be anything sponge so this is the one that I use one of them that I use on my website I don't think uh, many of these do anything but again feel free to experiment Diffuse Glow, that's a nice little, little design there. So a lot of these will show up here. Char I really like this one, Chalk and Charcoal. I almost used it for my site. Cut the crayon. Note paper is kind of nice. And feel free to adjust too. Use these, adjust them however you want. Sometimes you don't notice the difference. Plaster, this is the one I use on my site as well. I don't know how much of a difference this makes, but mess around with it. Articulation, I thought it was interesting as well. <clears throat> Nothing. There are a few more that are interesting. Grain, mosaic tiles. Stained glass doesn't do anything in the current settings. And texturizer. So, uh, once you find something you like, that's uh, cool plaster again. There we go. And you want to save it. Usually as a JPEG. And uh, you don't want to save it as a file that's too big, otherwise it's going to take too long to load. And it's going to look silly. So I uh, usually do eight, but you can test it out. And uh, that's it. You've created a background, uploaded it to your site. And you're good to go. So uh, yeah, feel free to experiment. Use different colors, different sizes, uh, different filters, and uh, you really don't need to pay for these things again. For for more on uh, this tutorial, there's a full article at JohnLumer.com. Uh, otherwise, feel free to read other tutorials like this one at my website. Thanks.